I'm about to meet my new client, Bev. She told me that she's got a packed house full of antiques, furniture, and quirky collections. I'm looking forward to digging in. So you said you're gonna downsize and move up north? Yes. Ron and I have been collecting for 35 years. Ron's your husband? Ron is my husband. We have a much smaller home up there, and it's pretty much furnished already. Okay. So everything's for sale then? Just about everything, yes. Okay. There is no way I could do this by myself. As I keep going through boxes and boxes, I just decided I would rather have you come and help okay, me. Okay, I'm here to help. Would you like to come to my scary basement? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, welcome to the mess. Wow. All right. When I went down to the basement, I couldn't believe how much stuff there was. It was packed. You've got a lot of lamps. There's some tables. There's a little bit of everything going on down here. I can see why you need to liquidate. I do. I don't know what to do with it all. Just be careful. Don't fall. Don't trip. What's up with the bird cages? I've seen so many down here. They're kind of <laughs> everywhere. Come into the living room. I'd like to show you my reverse paintings. Oh, wow. These are really cool. I really love to see just the back of the painting. Oh, it always wow. amazes me Look that somebody that. was able to do that. Wow. Reverse painting dates back hundreds of years. The image is created on the glass instead of the canvas. The painting is then flipped over, revealing the final result. Collectors are drawn to this unique art form, so they should be a hit at the sale. These look interesting. Those are some opera glasses. These are beautiful. It's all mother of pearl. They're actually in great condition. You'd watch the opera. You would watch. <laughs> There was a stereoscope. My grandparents had one of these when I was a kid, so I always played with it. Oh, yeah? But I think it's so fun. Stereoscopes are one of the world's first 3D devices. Peering through these vintage viewers makes the photos come to life, transporting people to faraway lands and exotic places on the special picture cards, which are inserted into the viewer. Back in the day, this set cost around 50 cents. Today, Kari hopes to get a few more zeros on that value. I want an expert to take a look at this and give me a price. Let's see what else you've got in here. I'm looking at these chairs and trying to unearth them. I would guess these to be Victorian. I just love the details on them. The estate sale would be hard to sell them in the condition they're in. You know, somebody would really, really beat us up on price because they need so much work. I'd love to give these chairs a new life, but be a fun refurb for me. I'd like to buy them from you. So I'm thinking maybe like 120 for the pair. Um, how about 150? You know what? That sounds like a good deal. So okay. your first sale of the sale. Great. Thank you. All right. Great. Thank you. Do you have a general idea, like a ballpark of what you'd like to get out of the sale? Well, I'm hoping to get at least a couple thousand, and it would help us make our move and get this house straightened out. I can definitely do that, Bev, and more. Oh, good. All right. All I'll right. be back to start setting up. You have 40 on there, I think you should put like 75 for the set. I'm panicking a little about the task ahead as there is so much stuff. Kari and her team will need to move quickly to have any chance of being ready for this sale. This is from Hawaii, 20. In order to please her client, her strategy is to focus on selling the big items. This table, 500? Yeah, 500 bucks. Okay. That's fair. This is a nice chest. It's a cedar chest. What's this? It's actually Bakelite. You want to know how you can tell? Know. You have to heat it up, and then you sniff it, and it has a very distinct smell. Take a whiff. Smell it? Yeah. It's almost okay. like a plasticky formaldehyde. Yeah, yeah. Like it shows it. This is an Art Deco piece. Bakelite is the world's first plastic. It was developed in 1907 by Belgian chemist Leo Bakeland. It was used in radio and telephone casings and in diverse products such as kitchenware, jewelry, and even children's toys. The retro appeal of old Bakelite products has made them collectible in recent years. It's a 16 millimeter, 35, 35. My estimate for this estate sale is about eight to $10,000. My commission will be 30% before expenses. Kari's going to push the reverse paintings, the stereoscope, and the 1930s chest. But with a house this full, it's hard to predict what and how much will sell. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> While the team focuses on the house, Kari's invited a local antiques dealer to appraise Bev's treasured stereoscope set. He's also a collector, so Kari's hoping he may even snap it up himself. Bev, this is John. Nice to Hi, meet you, Hi, Bev. John, John Waldsmith. Pleasure. pleasure to meet you. Let me just take a quick gander what you got here. First, I look at the viewer. 
What's interesting about this viewer, it's different than your average viewer because it has the folding card holder. That's very unusual. All right, this is it. This, this is patented December 1883. It definitely predates these views, okay. which are after 1900. These date from 1902 to about 1906, somewhere in that range. I'm, I'm just guessing probably there's about 90 views in here. This should be 100 in a box. But the views themselves look to be in pretty nice condition. Well, let me see. You win a value, right? Absolutely. OK, well, I would say probably a good uh, estimate on this would be maybe 200 to 250 dollars that's great well, great. great but there's one thing about these i i really would like to leave a bid in your sale sure, absolutely okay. okay i think i'd like to offer about 225 dollars so that's our first bid of the sale that's fantastic I'm interested in putting a bid because there's a few of the views here I haven't seen before. I just love them. It's just a great piece of history. I had a sneaking suspicion that John would want to buy the stereoscope. It's day one of the estate sale and Kari has her hands full with the last minute preparations. Short on time and on people power, she's asked Haas to help with pricing. In the past, Haas was my muscle guy, but now I need him to take on more responsibility. He's going to value the items outside. Fingers crossed he does a good job. I'm a little bit worried about pricing, but we're short staffed today. Pretty sure I can do my bit. Is it straight? Yeah. Customers are lining up. They're eager to get inside and hunt for treasures, while Kari is anxious to cut some deals and get stuff out the door. With so much to sell, Kari's going to wheel and deal on the first day and take all reasonable offers. Okay, you ready? Yes. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Hi. Don't miss the basement, it's all the way down the stairs. There's more jewelry behind you too. Oh, that's awesome. Um, the total came to 310 okay. and we're willing to take off $50 <laughs> of the total, which would bring you down to 260 Yeah? No. I like 250 better. Okay. Who's paying? Because I'm shaking to the person that's paying. There's so much stuff here. But people are buying things, which is a good thing. Uh, I buy a lot of items. I resell online. How about 100 bucks? I'll do 100 100 this vase. Dollars? Yes. It looks like a little candlestick foam. I like Kari Estate Sales because there's a variety of stuff and you never know what you're going to find. Are you getting the bedroom set? Brush your hair with What it. little I don't have? <laughs> Back in the day, maybe. How much is it? 120. Um, that's a little much. 100 bucks. Um, would you do 80? You're buying a lot of stuff. OK. So you're at 436. John's another one of my regular customers. He never goes home empty-handed. Isn't that pretty neat? You could keep her entertained for hours, Mom. You sure you don't want to buy that for her? I'm going to be banned from all of your estate sales <laughs> shortly. <laughs> that would be bad. We can't get you banned. <laughs> no. Matches, scarf, some shoes. How about $8 for everything? Eight bucks? Sure. I don't pay full price for hardly anything. No. <laughs> 11. Kari's right. been making lots of small sales, but she's only getting tire kickers with the big ticket items. There's two more. You can add them to your collection. No, no. OK. Sorry. Next sale. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the neighbors. 225 I think you ought to purchase it. I think I'm going to pass. <laughs> My neighbors are not this cool. <laughs> So what do you think? You want to take it home? Price is right, yeah. We've got 425 on it. What are you thinking? Two. Ooh, I can't go that low. So what can you? How about 375? About 350. 350. It's a deal. It's yours. Thank you. Thank Good you. Deal. I'm glad we could settle on a price for the chest since it's the only big furniture I've sold all day. It's not good. After a busy start, the sale has suddenly ground to a halt. The rain isn't helping, and Kari's worried. I 
I've never had an estate sale this empty. It's a total disappointment. So, it's very dead. Yes. This is crazy. Yeah. I've never experienced this, actually. Never? Mm -mm, not like this. There's not really much you can do. I can't control Mother Nature. That's right. That is right. Kari suspects there's another reason why customers have stayed away. She sent Haas out to investigate. All of the signs are gone. All of them. They're at City Hall. Well, that's why there's nobody here, but they're not on any... We have a permit. With the signs gone, customers can't find the sale, which means no business and no money. Go find out what the deal is. Right. Thanks. No problem. Our signs were taken because there was a misunderstanding about permits. I'm making sure this doesn't happen again. Time to close. It's time to count the cash. I hope there's more than I think. Today we did $2,250. Not a very good day. In order to hit my goal of eight to $10,000, I would have needed to double what I did today. It can get better, we have one more day. I know, I know, I know. It's just mm -hmm. disappointing for today. I'm banking on tomorrow to be a really good day. Business goes on and Kari's hit the road to follow a lead. She's heard about an old store full of items that's going to be demolished. It's been untouched for years, and now everything inside is for sale. Kari wants to find pieces for her new home before the wrecking ball gets to work. It was originally my husband's parents' property, and from what I hear, Henry Ford used to come right down here and have coffee with Grandpa. That's really cool. That's really cool. I love getting calls like this because I never know what's gonna be inside. I'm ready to dig in and see what she's got. So everything is for sale in here? Yes. And even the hardware on the doors are for sale? Yes. Excellent. Oh my God. What did I bring you for if you can't there even get the go. cabinet door open? These are pretty cool. Let's put these in my pile. All right, let's go check out the other sink. Oh yeah, 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 check this out. This is cool. Do you think you can rip this out of the wall? Doable. Get your tools, let's do it. Come on, baby, get out of there. Coming into a property like this where everything's gonna be demoed, it's awesome because you can just rip and tear into anything you want. Of course, there's no air conditioning in the property, so it's hot and we're on the second floor. We're just dealing with it. There it goes. There she goes. Good job. The sink was worth all the effort. It's going to look great in my new house. Kari's dug out some windows, fixtures, a shelf, and the sink. She might have saved them from the wrecking ball, but now she's got to make a deal with Emily so she can take them home. This is the part that becomes a little bit tricky when you negotiate your pile. I don't know what Emily's expecting to get. I've already ripped the sink off the wall, so hopefully she's going to be fair with her pricing. We got our workout in today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking for the whole pile, like $350. Hmm. I was thinking maybe a little bit more. Would 400 be agreeable? 400 sounds fair. $400 for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's day two of the estate sale, and after a poor turnout yesterday, Kari really needs this day to be a success. In order to motivate her team, she's decided to reevaluate her sales target. I don't think I'm going to reach my estimate of eight to 10,000, so my new target is $5,000. I hope Bev will still be pleased with this. I really need to focus on selling the furniture so I can at least keep my promise of helping Bev to downsize. To add to her problems, none of the items Haas priced yesterday have sold, and she suspects he may have marked them too high. Why is that 70 and why is that 70? Would you pay $70 for that chair? No. 20 bucks. You've got 55 bucks on that. Would you pay $55 for that? No. What would you pay? 10. 10 bucks. Oh, look, the leg <laughs> fell off. Haas, what else have you overpriced in here? This is 45. Oh my gosh, no. No. I don't know what happened with pricing out here, but I think people were extremely sticker shocked. So slash the prices. We'll take care of it. I'm going to have to be a bit more vigilant with pricing. Who is number one? <laughs> it's 10 AM, and the sale is off to a very slow start. There's only three people in line right now who are about to open the doors. That's really, really disappointing. All right, folks, good morning. Come on in. Half off, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. 
With so few buyers and with still so much to sell, Kari's offering deep discounts. She's hoping that customers will be enticed by her low prices. Half off today, find your bargain. It was 100, so it's $50. And I can do a little bit better if you'd like it. I could do $15. Too much? How much would you pay for it? $10? No. No? Not interested? No. OK. Everything's half off. OK. Everything must go. Everything must go. Everything must go. We have less than 10 people here. And we can't blame it on signs or rain. They'll show up. They're just being fashionably late. OK. I hope. Let's go, people. Everything must go. Half off everything. 50% off of everything in the house. Everything must go. I'm doing an internet blast right now. I'm just basically putting it out there that it's half off today and hopefully draw some customers Good in. Good idea. I like that. I've sent Janelle and Haas off to try to drum up business. I hope it works. I got one. Oh. Don't tell where to go. 50% yeah, off that way. That way. that way, my friend. But the arrows point that way. <laughs> Here we're desperate for customers, and the arrows were pointed the wrong direction. The team doesn't know how they ended up that way, but quickly turned them around. Once we flipped the arrows around facing the correct way, people started coming. Now that we've got customers here, I told my staff, move the big stuff. It looks impressive. It's going to empty the house, and Bev will be happy. Did you sit on it? I and did try sit on it. Out and I like it. Yeah. We so think you so should so take stuff. it home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Everything so must go. Selling two big pieces of furniture creates two big holes, which Bev will really notice, which makes me feel good. Seems to be right in the top. How's this going? Do you want to take this home with you? I definitely want to take this home. OK, so we're all set. 350? No. <laughs> she said yes. No. There we go. 300. Can you meet me in the middle at 325? And I can do 320. I can do 320 for it. Yay, she's happy. <laughs> Congratulations Thank on your you. new cabinet. Yes. OK. <laughs> how are you guys doing? Hi. Hi. Good, how are you? Are in the reverse painting? Do you collect them? We have a few. Oh, you do? Yeah. How much for? Um, these two are $100 each. And the big one, we were asking 250 How about if we did them all? All priced together would be four fifty. So how about four hundred bucks? Three fifty. Mm. Maybe in the middle. Three seventy five. Three sixty five. I didn't want to risk losing that deal at all, so I just kept smiling. Okay, let's meet in the middle. Three sixty five. Mm. Sold. Good. Thank you. Good. Double handshake. Oh, thank you. <laughs> They're yours. Oh. The customers who bought the reverse paintings were tough negotiators. If Kari hadn't come down, no, I'd have went home without the paintings. <laughs> he would have to. I have a price in mind. That's what I'm going to pay. I'm going to haggle for whatever stingy. I get. That's why, because he's stingy. You're welcome. The word got out that this was a sale with great deals. I think I might get a little bit closer to my goal. Now Kari's at her warehouse with her latest refurb project. She picked up some battered old chairs from her estate sale client, Bev, and wants to return them to their former glory. I really wanted to preserve the original fabric, but it's literally deteriorating in my hands. I'm not going to be able to use it. I'm going to take out all the tacks and brads. I'm going to try to reuse as many as possible. Perfect. The next step is to sand them down and get them ready for staining. I want to keep these chairs as close to their original finish as possible, so I'm going to do a dark stain again, just to give them a fresh new coat. You can already see that these are going to look gorgeous. This is upholstery fabric, so what we need to do is reinforce the chairs with webbing. That way, somebody can actually sit in the chairs. I paid $150 for the pair, and after we're finished with them, they'll be worth double that. Thank you. Back at the estate sale, the team is pushing the big furniture out the door. Kari wants to clear more space to please her client, Bev. If I don't clear this house out for Bev, she and her husband are going to be stuck with all this stuff and no place to put it. <laughs> Look at Haas. He's trying to get that in the car. Why don't you try to flip this seat all the way down? Turn it. There we go. Close the door. 
A lot of the furniture is going out the door, which is great as it's clearing space and bringing in some welcome cash. Have a wonderful day. We can clear it off in a jiffy. 300 bucks, it's yours, out the door. You should take it home. It's the end of the sale. We really need to sell it. Well, she's trying to get rid of it, and she, she did go down to three. Can she do better than that? I can't. I can't go lower than that. What do you think? Um. All right. All right, well, clear it off. It is yours. Nothing like getting a great deal. Thank you. Thank you. The sale is winding down, and it's time for Kari to close up count the cash, and meet with Bev. We moved a lot of big, heavy stuff for you. Help you along in your move, help you downsize just a little bit. Yeah. You ready for the total? I am ready. We did $5,011. You happy with that? Pretty happy, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.